Oh my god, the rain. It has to rain when I film. It just has to. Anyways, hi. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I've uploaded. Um, but I'm getting back in here. So today, I just sat down, chilled, and uh, we did this. And you'll see my kids in and out. Um, but, you know, that's mom life. We're in quarantine and I always have my kids so yeah um, anyway if you want to see how I did this and got this then just keep watching so since I don't really know the look we're going for yet because we're just all bored up in quarantine living our best life right um, we're just going to go in with the Smashbox Photo Focus Primer. Photo Finish. Same difference, right? Let's take some of that. We're going to dab it on Mama. everywhere. Mama. Yeah? God, that feels so good. I haven't used that in so long. forgot how good it feels. Um, so... Let's see, I'm going to use that primer and then I'm going to use a second primer for my pores. And we're going to use an oldie but a goodie Maybelline Baby Skin. And this, I'm just going to take a little bit and put like where my pores show, which is mainly right here. And on my chin a little bit. So we're going to put that in. And then for foundation, I'm going to use a concoction of two. So the two looks like four, two. Um, these are my favorites, especially mixed together. And I have to kind of mix them anyway because this one's a bit too dark. But we're going to use the Too Faced Born This Way. And then I'm going to mix some of the L'Oreal 24 Hour Fresh Wear. So this one is kind of closer to my shade and this one's a bit dark. But mixed these two together. Oh, so good. So good. So let me. Now we're going to take this big old eco sponge and blend it all out. Yes, right, right. So yeah, those together just look so good. So good together. And of course, these are both really buildable. So if you want like really full coverage. You can totally get it with these together. Sealer. We're going to use the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. We're just going to dab a little. Just, just a little. Just a little. As I continue to put it everywhere. And say just a little. Then I'm going to take the same sponge and blend that out. How is everybody's quarantine going? Like, is it mandatory where you live? Are you self-isolating? Because right now I'm just kind of self-isolating. You know, our governor and or president has not said that it's mandatory for us to stay in our home. But it's advised to stay in your home, so let's stay at home anyway. <laughs> this combo looks really, Mom. really good. It's the Coconut Setting Powder Everyday BK. So, I'm going to take that on my damp Whoa. beauty sponge here. Oh god, it smells like coconuts. It smells so good. Oh. And I'm not baking, I'm just kind of going to tap this like everywhere. Oh, I got this. Thank you. Mm -hmm. To make sure my concealer don't move and stays in place. Yeah, this combo of stuff is like my all-time favorite here lately. So it's my all-time here lately favorite. Um, can I have this? 
Thank you. You gotta watch her because she will take your stuff and run. I have so many palettes missing. <sighs> gotta love it. Here yeah. you go. Okay, thank you. Oh, and look, here's my beauty blender. Here's my little Pac Man. Rawr, rawr, rawr. So, for bronzer, because we need to add a little bit of color back in this situation, I'm using the Lovecraft Beauty. And then I'm going to take the lightest shade here. Sublime? Sublime? <laughs> no idea, but we're taking this one. And we're just using it on a big old fluffy brush because I'm not being too... Mom. You know, exact. Mm -hmm. I just want to put some color back in here. Mm-hmm. Out. Mm -hmm. Out. <coughs> so we have a makeup sponge thief on the loose. Well, there you have it. Like, the life of a mom of both in one video. One's bringing you frogs, and the other one steals your makeup. And then, of course, you're going to put some up under here. Mom, broke. It's broke. I know it's broke. You broke it. So, like I said, we're not really too precise. We're just kind of putting that, that little too. bit everywhere. Mama, and then, you too. Thank you. Mom. And then for blush, what do we want to use? Let's use this. Mm -hmm. This is really dirty, so excuse it, but it's the Alamar Cosmetics. Mom. Mom. And I think I'm gonna go with let's do the kind of like mauvey pink one. This one here in the middle. And we're gonna take this on a another just random brush. How about this one? This is the Jessup Lux Sheer Cheek Brush. Mm -hmm. You done destroyed those lashes. She's running off with my lashes that are destroyed now. So, go ahead a little bit, go ahead. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Fancy Pink Diamond Highlighter. And we're gonna take it on this. Oh, this is from Alamar Brightening Brush. So we're just gonna take it on this here. It's a big one to kind of get it overall. And let's just, I'm not a real big fan of this highlighter. I don't feel like it's too, it's not, it's real natural. So if you like a really blinding highlight, I don't think this one's going to be for you. This from Clinique is so old. It's Glow Crazy Powder Highlighter Platinum Glow 07. This is so old, but let me show you. <laughs> let's, let's, let's. Oh. We gotta blur that out a little bit because this stuff. Mom. What? Oh, um, mm, You found a Lego man? I still have to contour my nose and everything. What? Uh huh. So to do that, I'm gonna use. Mom, open. It's open. This is a Jessup concealer buffer. But. So I'm going to take the same shade that I did on my cheeks and just kind of go along my nose here. Just a little bit. What do you mean bye? She just took off with my satin spray. So I'm going to go ahead and actually take this bronzer and use it as a transition here and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and put some brows on this is the brow bar here and then i have the little mascara thing that goes with it or the brow gel 
down here but let's let's throw some brows on so this is just called a brow brush honestly i think i got this from target like i don't even know no, tj maxx i think i got it from tj maxx like god only knows how long ago so we're gonna take some of this darkest brown here oh, look there's a little mirror and i just kind of follow my natural lash line uh, oh, we, have, we have a brow i'm gonna take the brow brow bar little like mascara for your brows i cannot i cannot think of any words right now jesus christ anyway and we're just gonna run this through them thank you so what are we gonna do for our eyes i really want to use this palette i've yet to use it yet i've like swatched it a few times but i've never actually used it it's the prefaz in the pudding palette she's like taking all of my powders my powder drawer is empty now but yeah i think i want to use this palette and see what maybe we can do with it. Yeah, let's just okay. use this one. So this is the same one that I used to put like the transition bronzer up there. And I'm gonna go, God, they're all so pretty. I don't know, I'm probably gonna use a little bit of all of them, but I think I wanna do this mango pudding one first. Mom. What? And let's, oh, there's no mirror, I just realized that. It's a bummer. Okay, can you bring my stuff back, please? I think I'm going to go in with bread pudding on a... What are you taking now? Anyway, this is from Moda, and it is a shade brush. So, we're going to take some of that. And just kind of put it on the lid. And then I think, do I want to put a shimmer? I don't know. But I am going to go in with this warm cocoa. And put it kind of just in the crease. So I'm going to take a Jessup Luxie Petite Crease Brush. And. Let's just put this in the crease. Putting it a little bit above. It's kind of create a crease. Oh, do y'all hear that thunder? I feel like one eye is always harder to do than the other one because of how you have to like of your hands let's use this one this one is a luxe all over shader but it's really fluffy and it has makeup coming off of it anyway i'm gonna take this and just kind of go around the edges of that darker shade it died well maybe you shouldn't have took it off the charger i'll have to charge it for you in just a minute okay thank you Thank you. So I think I'm going to take, oh God, they're all so pretty. Um, but I want to brighten it up a little bit. So I think I'm going to take spiced caramel at first. And then I think I'm going to put a little bit of the butterscotch on top of that. And I'm just going to use my finger for that. So spiced caramel. With my really dirty finger. I don't even know what that is on there. I mean, obviously it's makeup, but from what? <laughs> now I'm going to take the lighter one, the butterscotch, and just go right in the middle of that. I like it. And then I'm going to take, 
Yeah. No, let's not take that. Let's take, here we go, perfect. So this is the Lux Jess Up Pencil Brush. And I'm gonna take a mixture of, I think the bread pudding and the warm cocoa. So how about this? I'm gonna do the warm cocoa first and just put it up under my lash line and then we'll blend it out with the bread button. I'm gonna take a bigger brush. Let's see, let's take, that has a lot of stuff on it, but we'll make it work. This is Glamorous Dolls. It's just Glamorous Dolls. And now we're gonna take that bread pudding shade and buff this out. I don't know what my nose is doing right now, but it's like, it's peeling. We're not gonna touch it though, cause then it's gonna get worse. And I'm gonna take this big brush, this is Luxie Face Definer, and brush away all the fallout, which wasn't that much, but we're gonna brush it away. And I don't know if I want to do a wing liner with actual eyeliner or take one of these really dark browns and do a liner with that. What do we have here? Oh, perfect. So, <laughs> this is one palette that is not completely 100% destroyed, but it is 75% destroyed. So here's the palette, and my daughter has destroyed all three shades, except for my really dark brown right here. So we're gonna use that for a liner, and I'm going to, I'm not gonna spritz it with any of that. This is, so this is the only um, spray she's left me with. So this is the Inner Beauty Power Up Dual Phase Setting Powder. So, we're gonna just spritz that a little bit. And let's see what she does. And let's see what I can do. <laughs> I normally don't do my liner like this, but we're gonna, we're gonna go with it. So, let's see. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna go for the smaller one now to get in that inner corner. So we're gonna use a smaller one. Now let's see if we can do the same thing to the other side. That's going to be the kicker. I don't know how I've managed to get like makeup all over my fingers. How do you do that? Yeah, so you know what? I can dig it. You know what I think I'm going to do as well? Just to deepen up the outer corner of my lower lash line. I think I'm going to take that same shade and put it on my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna spritz me face with this setting spray because it's the only one my daughter didn't run off with. So here we go. Mm. I uh, love setting spray. So this is the Unique Mood Struck and L'Oreal Telescopic. Um, I really love these two together and I like both of them by themselves. So first, let's get our lashes to meet Jesus. I like the pounce. Like, pew, 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 pew. 
No, I don't like to just hold it there. Mm, aren't you loving your face issues when you have your makeup done? All right, so now I need to do something in the lips and I might do one more coat of mascara. Um, let's see. I wanna do something kind of nude-ish. So I think I might use these two. So this is the, I have no idea how to say that. Is that like Gwen? Gwen? Who knows? Um, it's in shade Wifey. And then on top of it, this is LA Colors Matte Liquid Color in... Uh, in... Do no, but don't say. I don't know why I keep looking like I ain't done look many times, but yeah, I don't know what shade this is, but it's like this really nude pinky shade. Mm, yeah, them two together. I like it, I like it, I like it. So Let's take the hair down. Yes. Oh my God, the lighting. <laughs> this is perfect. Anyways, so this is the final look of whatever we did. Not quite sure. Um, oh, I forgot to take um, some makeup off the inner corner of my eye. Anyway, so this is the final look. Um, thanks for watching and hopping on. And yeah, so if y'all have any requests for anything else to do, um, just let me know. I'm trying to get up a lot more content and viewers. So let me know what you guys would like and I'll do it for you. So. As always, thank you and yeah, I'll see you next time.